Okay, so we came over and we're gonna supplement my little tiny, little tiny. Hun. Good morning, good morning. Oh, hey. <laughs> Literally. Hey. <laughs> Jason just brought the tractor home last night. <sighs> Guess what that means. So the tractor in the backyard, do y'all know what that means? He laid down some hay yesterday. I leave in four days and he mowed down hay. <sighs> By the time you guys watch this, I should be on a plane or already in Colorado. Uh, it's Sunday, it's beautiful out this morning. It's going to be very hot later on. I'm gonna go ahead and walk down and start my chores. And kind of make my to-do list for the next um, three and a half days before I fly out on Thursday. <laughs> the stress of everything of the timing is really starting to weigh on my heart so I thought you know what better way I'm just gonna go to the barn and I'm going to decompress a little bit. Um, I need to get my stalls lined out and sort of make a cheat list um, of scheduling I gotta get the kids' schedule all figured out. Um, I think this is the hardest part of being a female farmer um, because I am mom, I am wife, and I was all those things before I was Jason's farmhand. It's not that him and his parents and my parents can't have everything lined out. It's all the other things that I do that aren't just the farming or just the kids. It's it's all in between. So it's it's really weighing me down this morning. Uh, hence while I'm walking because that is kind of my de-stressor exercise wise. Um, I do miss that. So this week is gonna get crazy. I hope you guys are prepared. Let's get rolling. It's the morning round two. Walk down to the barn. Keaton and, er, Jalen and Jason had to run an errand this morning. So Keaton chose to come down with me. And we're gonna finish chorn Hank and uh, do a few things. And yeah, I think you got what four H this afternoon at one. Okay, busy day, busy, busy, busy day. You guys kind of know by now the horse drill, so I'm not gonna keep repeating myself day in and day out about it. But um, it is pretty quiet because Scooter's no longer with us. Um, I just have Shiloh and Leo up, and of course Jalen's little Rocky Pony. Um, but while I'm gone, I'm probably going to turn out uh, the gildings to where the mares are, just to make it easier. Um, since Shiloh's bred, she's kind of on a more restricted diet. I wouldn't say diet, but she can't have fescue. So I've been really, really watching what hay we feed her. So she's just getting alfalfa, so that's why she stays in the barn um, instead of being turned out to the lot like she would have if she wasn't bred. And we're going to feed Hank. Keaton came down to help me this morning. Call him up. So we did um, keep one heifer back. There's a couple more uh, that we kept back over from our weaned ones. These are ones that were in the arena originally, but she's one we kept back. Um, and I just really like her confirmation. Her mama's really good. Come here, rider, rider, come here. Come here, come here, let her in. So we uh, pulled her off from the group that uh, we brought home. Right on! So I'm down here watering the chickens. Um, so we do do meat birds. And we do rotation where they move. Um, Grandma and Jalen are having to do the market all by their shows. Because every Saturday for about six weeks um i'm having a football game so yeah so i'm just sitting out here watering for them because they were empty.
their breakfast? Yes. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Here's your bucket. Thank you. Thank you. I brought him down to their daddy. They're, he's mowing a different patch, and it's not very much. Probably didn't take 20 minutes, but uh, ran him down so they could spend some time with him this morning while I do a few other things. Since uh, the kids are with Jason for a little bit, I am going to mess with Leo. I've got four days. I'd really like to get um, some ground work done. He knows it all. He does. He, he, do. he knows it all, but um, we kind of been struggling just because I my lack of being able to ride him uh, much the last two summers during hay season have been just, it's been a lot. Um, so I'm doing a bunch of ground work, um, reconnecting with him. I'm going to show you a little bit of that. I don't know how much, but the next four days, that's what I'm working on. And then I'll turn him out for four days while I'm gone. And then we'll start again when I come back. Jason and I are going to go supplement a calf. So I had to run home and make some milk. Um, 
I'll talk about it more once we get over there, I think. Hopefully. Hi. Hi. Tell him hi. Hi. Okay, so we came over and we're gonna supplement my little tiny, little tiny baby. Um, I'm just a little concerned it might not be getting enough from mama. Even though mama's a really good mama, I saw this because Sandy Brock does it with her sheep. And it's a little different situation, obviously. But this baby is so tiny, I just would feel better if I tried it. We don't supplement a lot of them like this. Usually, we try to bring the cow calf home. Obviously, we cannot bring cow calf home. Right, Sissy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're looking for baby number 11, little tiny thing. That they maybe just uh, bring her a bottle over each day or something? Every day, just bring her a bottle. Just helping you, mama. Good job, Sissy. Daddy's saying that we got a new baby. So Mama's right behind us, and we're just trying to help her grow a little bit better. No, 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 no. You gotta give it to her. Give it to her. Hold it up. Hun. Good. Yep, that's good. So she took about um, half my bottle and now she's nursing mama. So I'm just going to keep doing it for about a day and, well, next several days. We got a bull calf. New bull calf. Did she just have it? Sometime today. 42, so we probably won't get it very close to it.